Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Shamba Jacko. Uh, in today's video, I'll try to show you on how to convert uh, flowchart to pseudocode. So, how do you convert flowchart to pseudocode? The first thing is to understand the shapes. So, what shape we have here is an oval shape. What does this oval shape mean? It means start or stop. You know, when you have a computer, there is a, a, there is a, there is a starting button, you need to press it to start. And then after using, you need to stop. So that's why there is start here and stop here. So our next shape is a, a parallelogram. So this parallelogram, it means enter. That's why, that's why there is enter here. It means enter or input or output or display so these are just the same you are entering something and say something is coming out this is what display means and output so enter and input you are entering something that's, how, that's what it means and then there is this other shape Romy or, or Dama shape this is the decision box this is where you make a decision Decision. What is the spelling? What's the spelling of the decision? Yeah. <laughs> decision. Decision. I don't know if this is the correct spell, spelling for decision. I'm a, I'm a mathematics teacher, not English teacher. If it's not, if it's not a correct spelling for decision, you will search. So this is decision box. And then, um, what uh, other shape? What uh, this one? Rectangle. Right so a rectangle is the instruction box. So under decision box, this is where a decision of a computer is done. Like as it is processing, it will make its decision at this stage or this stage. And uh, instruction box, it will instruct something to come out under this instruction box. All right. So uh, we start with uh, we start with uh, or at this point in time we can now convert since we know what the shapes mean we can uh, convert it so we go to start this is how we convert we say start then we say enter. Okay. And before we convert, let me just say one more thing. It's very easy not to get a zero, or it's not possible for somebody not to get a mark on this question. Even if you don't know anything, try to copy what you're able to see here. The markers that they give you the mark. So you see, I've copied this one, start, and then you enter. You move a little bit in, that's where you write this enter. You are entering A. Then here, this is the decision box. If you can see here, there is a question that like, is A less than zero and the question might be. Meaning, for pseudocode, you write if A is less than zero. So now, if A is less than zero, what follows? You write then error message. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Good morning. <laughs> then error message A must be positive. So you just copy what is here. And then there are two options. Here it says yes. Then you copy that. Here it says no. You copy what is here. Now, when copying what is here, you write else. Straight line you see, then else, else, enter, enter H, else, enter H. So, from this point, when you enter H, there is also a question here is H less than zero? Straight line with E, you write if H is less than zero 
and there are two answers there down straight with then you say then you copy what is here error message H must be positive. This is what you do. So next you write else, straight with else here. Else. Else, now you copy the formula. The formula which is in here. V is equal to A star H. Then when you reach here, you're almost finishing. You come straight line with if. If you write and if. You write and if. After writing and if, you say display. Straight line with enter. Display. Display V. When you write display V, lastly, straight line with stop. Let me start the right stop down here. So this is how we convert uh, flowchart to suitable.